Hello and welcome to episode number 21 of our series on computer vision and deep learning with Python. This um, episode is also an appetizer, it's just to whet your appetite for what to expect once we begin to treat topics on deep learning. And um, the idea of this video is to show you how changing the network's architecture improves its performance. So what we demoed, what I demoed in the previous video was um, a densely connected architecture, a very simple neural network trained on MNIST. And so the performance wasn't very good, but it was satisfactory. Today I've made an improvement and I'm using convolutional neural networks, okay? Convnet, and um, this is a neural network architecture specifically designed for um, computer vision for for identifying or classifying images so it does perform much better than it was doing yesterday so let's demo that i press s to start drawing and then i'm going to try to predict what this character is so i draw a one i press p and as you can see the prediction was one okay let me clear i press c and then let's start drawing um a two so I draw two and the network tells me it is a two. Let me clear. Let's try three. And let's predict. It says it's a three. Let's try the digit four. So I try my best to draw a four with the mouse. And it tells me it's a four. Let's see for um, five. Okay, so as you can see, the performance we are receiving today is much better than what you saw in the previous video. And um, it is just to demonstrate to you how choosing the perfect or the, the correct network architecture for the right job is going to improve the performance of your neural network okay and um, once again this is not meant for you to know how to build neural networks but then I'm just making you aware of um, what you are to expect in subsequent videos to come so if you compare this code to what I showed in the previous video you can see that the architecture of the network has changed and I'm introducing some convolutional layers and um, they are best suited for identifying um, images for doing image classifications and um, image recognition task okay so thank you very much for watching and uh, just in case you want to try this code on your own computer feel free to um, visit my github page the code is there it is called deep hyphen ocr clone it and then set it up on your local machine to see um, how this actually works and i promise you in subsequent videos i'm going to teach you how to build this stuff from scratch and get very good performances that will be reliable for whatever task you want to accomplish with them. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.